your haters are trolling you in your actual real life. Not just online, but in person, impersonating you. You know how it feels to have people play with you? It's not a good it's not a, it's not a good feeling, it's not the best feeling. People tend to necessarily not like it. Others think it's a game. They think they're just having good, clean fun. But you're playing around with something that is near and dear to a person. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna take a deep dive into to what that might be. Uh, and, and just just to to get a good idea of what people are playing with when it comes to you and what they find amusing. Okay? So, you know, there are certain people who find things hilarious and find things amusing, and that's okay. We as highly intellectual, attuned, spiritual beings, we don't mind people getting a good laugh, even if it is, happens to be us. That is the thing that's being laughed at. Ha ha, he he, okay. Everybody, you know, deserves to be laughed at, I guess. It's life, you know. There, there's times where people are going to find things amusing and hilarious and funny. But when people are actually digging a little bit deeper than that, and it's like they're taking a dig at you, you won't necessarily appreciate that. And it's not that it's a big deal. It's not that it's even bothersome. It's just that it makes you think about yourself, your life, your own situation. So technically all they're doing in a sense is just motivating you to do better. They're motivating you to want to get away from that. They're motivating you to want to get your own place, own business, own land, own everything. All right. Because it's a, it's a lot of things that come with a person that would do something like this is it's deeper than it seems it's good it, it seems like good clean fun oh yeah it seems like good clean fun but on the it, it, things are always deeper than the surface level you know people people can people can take things for the surface level when it's convenient for them oh that that didn't cause you any harm Oh, that that didn't affect you. That didn't bother you. You you didn't you didn't even feel that. That's nothing for you to worry about. They'll tell you that, but it may be something that you're worried about. It may be something that is bothering you, that's troubling you, or it may be something that you could just look past and say, you know what? Have your fun. Laugh. Whatever you find amusing, find it amusing. But no one necessarily likes to be played with. If you find what pushes a, per a person's buttons and keep pushing it, no matter who that person is, how calm and cool or collect they may seem or may be able to act out, because you have to remember, they're great actors, amazing actors. when it comes to portraying a false identity on how they feel about themselves and other people. They've been doing that their whole life. So it's, it's not going to be that easy to be able to detect through that. You may be able to pick up, you may be able to pick up the narcissism and the toxic traits. But as far as certain things like we're discussing in this video, as far as the betrayal, as far as the covertness, as far as the the things that are hidden and unseen.
it's a lot more it takes a lot more to be able to detect that and unfortunately some people may have to feel the stove and get burnt and realize it's hot so that way they can tell that they're being manipulated by some some toxic folks all right one thing that toxic people and manipulative manipulative people like to do is they like to convey the idea that what they did didn't really affect you like that oh that didn't bother you like that oh that didn't affect you like that but it's a button they're pressing it's some pressure they're applying it's a force they're trying to meet you with all right out of fear of losing something they fear that they're going to lose power around you so what they have to do is fight against you in a way that you don't necessarily see or can clearly tell because they want to be able to win and they need to fight dirty and play dirty to win they they can't do things by the book they can't even they can't even do things by the book and cut corners and win you know how some people they you know they be like man shh, i know i know i can't do this forever but a certain amount of time i'm gonna have to do this and i'm gonna have to make sure that i do what i need to do because this is what i'm seeing right now and there's nothing left you know you faith is good but some sometimes there are just opportunities that present themselves and it's like you kind of got to do what you got to do and God doesn't mind like the situation where which one of the, the brothers took the other bro the other the when Jacob took Esau's blessing Jacob felt that he was the one when you know what you want and you're willing to go after it sometimes you have to like that movie when uh, Denzel Washington had to get that heart for his son wasn't the best way to go about what he needed to get but he knew what he, he knew what he needed he knew what he wanted he was going to get that heart transplant and he was going to he was going to go to jail i think we all need to go back and watch that movie they don't even they don't even play that movie like that they don't even play that movie like that you might see that movie once every five years they don't even play that movie like that you probably got to go buy it and get it on dvd or something you know you probably got to go holla at the dvd man DVDs. You probably go holla at that. You probably gotta, gotta go holla at that 2005s dude. Because they're not gonna they're not gonna keep airing that and showing that. And we all know why. But luckily, you can go back and watch it. I'm I'm, I'm most likely somebody sent me a cash app for uh 4.99 for five dollars because I'm about to go buy that movie and go watch it while I'm at work today. Okay. I'm about to go buy that movie. Somebody, somebody bless me and, and treat me to that movie. Because that's a real good movie. And it would motivate me and help me get out of, you know, help me get out of some funky energy. All right. That we all experience. All right. I'm creating this video for you to help you get out of your funk. You all donate and support to, to help me further get out of mine. And I think we all need to go watch that movie. Because when you know what you want. You know, it's like the whole universe bends and folds and, and, and will break for you. Even if, even if what you're doing may not seem right, but it's for a right cause. There's, there's stories where people were threatened to be put in jail and arrested, but they went to go save their mom. You're not going to let my mom just, just go up there and just burn in flames. No. I'm, cl I'm climbing a, a thousand million trillion feet. You know, to, to go to go save what's mine. So 
you know, people, when you, it's, it's the love, man. It's the love that people have. And the fact that you understand what true love is, real love. I'm not talking about that stuff, low vibrational stuff. All right, real love for your people. Not letting anything happen to them. Not wanting anything to happen to them. So when people play with you and they do things that show you the opposite of that, it's a true test. Because what they what you you really don't realize that I mean they they you don't realize sometimes and what and you better realize it. <laughs> All right, you better realize this. They're walking into the lion's den. All right, when they when they deal with you, they're they're walking into the lion's den. You may seem calm, you may seem cute, you may seem cuddly, you may seem nice, you may seem pleasant, polite. Oh, he's a good one. Yeah, he's a good one. He's not like the rest of them. He's a good one. You know, they they people may think that they can play with you and try you and do all these things. And think it's okay. And you may you may let it go. And they may they may think they got a pass. But the thing is, it's like, you know what? It just, it goes to show you that you are the one with all the power. You're the one with all the power. You're the one that's going to be more successful, the most successful. And it shows you how people truly view you in their sight. People who are fans, people who love you, people who think highly of you, imitate you. It's the highest form of flattery. So when people who you perceive to not really fuck with you like that, they really are low-key, covert, secret fans, closet fans. They're closet fans. They 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 trapped in the closet. And and really wish they could be just like you. But they don't got the gumption. Oh, we ain't even gonna say good. We ain't even gonna take it there. We ain't even gonna. We ain't gonna. They they don't have the gumption. You know, we are gonna say we gonna we gonna have, make them look it up. <laughs> we we know we gonna we gonna make them look this one up. What's that mean? <laughs> they don't have the gun. Yeah, they're gonna be thinking that hard. <laughs> they're gonna be thinking that hard. They're gonna be trying to pop that out. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what you gonna call um. The opposite of the, the, you know, that's that's not not Yakub, but the one that came to save everybody. You know, that's that's one of those right there. He flex for you real quick. Okay, how you think I how you think I be getting all these downloads? Okay, wait wait till I start working out. That the, you know, they be having all them drawings too. You be seeing all them angelic drawings with angelic uh uh uh. uh you know, angelic nation and everything. You know, fro all flowing in the breeze in, 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 in the intergalactic space and all that. A little green energy, a green lantern aura all around. Okay. So they really people people don't know people don't know what they're playing with, man. They don't they don't know that it's it's like a, a, a they don't know that the fence is unlocked. And they're talking to the junkyard dog that's just sitting and waiting. You know what? You get a pass. Oh, oh, God bless you. <laughs> you don't even know what you're dealing with. You get a pass. 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 They don't know what they're dealing with. Don't unleash it on them. Don't let them have it. Save it for when you really need it. They don't deserve all that. And we're not going to give it to them. Especially over little small, minute, petty things. You know, they may, they may get a good, they may get a good laugh out of what they do. A good kick, a good amusement. And that's cool. It's, it's, it's good, man. It's good for people to laugh. It boosts your immune system for 72 hours. You 
feel good, you're happy, ha ha, he he. But the thing is, they're not going to play with you. You're not going to allow people to play with you. They can do whatever they want. But just make sure that when you know, make sure they're scared beyond God knows what when it comes to actually trying anything else. And you don't have you don't have to do anything um, you don't have to do anything you know too too wild or outlandish to make that happen. You just have to have audacity. So when when people have the audacity to play with you, have the audacity to stand up for yourself. In a positive, aggressive way, that works best for you. This is how you're going to do this. This is how we're going to go about this. Okay. Not a problem. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how things are going to go. Because I know I, I'm blessed. They're going to work out well for me. You know. But, you know, you, you know, do not mock God. You can't mock God. All right, can't mock. We can't mock God. We have a strong connection with Him. We love Him. We put Him first in our lives. And these low vibrational beings, demonic entities, foul spirits, want to come and play with us because they think that we're the ones to be played with. In all actuality, we're really not. We just let a lot of things slide. Because we're, we're, I mean, at the end of the day, we're focused on the bigger picture. We're, we're focused on the bigger picture. Because that's what matters. The, the pettiness doesn't matter. Pettiness is... Meow. You do the, you, you, you calculate that one. I smell meow. Pettiness is meowness. You know, if, if you... If you want to be, yo, if you want to be a, a, a meow man, go ahead. You can go, you can go, yo. You know, while other everybody's, you know, you get your, you know, get your feline on. You know, you, yo, you, you can be a, you can be the most uh, feline man out there. You know, hey, catch a spark. Get your, get your, get your feline on. I smell meow. So, you know, um, when people play with you, be creative, man. Have something fun to do. They play with you, have, have me you know, do a pose, a noise. Find a way to mock them back. That's fun for you. That doesn't take much effort. They may not even understand it. Make sure they don't. It's just, it's just a laugh for you, if you feel the need. You know, that may, that may be too low for you. To, you may be all the way, you, you may be, I'm, I feel blessed. Up all the way up. You may be all you may be so high up that that stuff don't even touch you. I'm I'm working on getting there. Pray for me. You know, don't pray for me, pray for yourself. But you know, send some positive energy my way. Because I'm always praying. So you can save your the prayer energy for you. I'm always praying. And I'm all I'm always asking God to help me deal with things like this because some people really some people yeah, some people really don't know you know mike tyson right throughout his history and his career he's had to end some interviews you know you know mike tyson had to end some interviews yeah he, he mike mike tyson had to end some interviews he told them people they it was probably best for them to get up out of there he said, you know what? He said, for your best interest, he said, we, I think it's, it's, it's best for you to leave right now. And it's best for us to end this interview. Because, what I mean, once you... Because, I mean, Mike Tyson got bullied. He dealt with fear before he found out who he was. Everybody deals with a little bit of fear. Everybody's afraid of something. Or at some point. And then they got to get over it. Because you realize it's like, am I just going to keep being afraid? Keep being a, 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 a little, meow. Or am I going <sighs> to, lions get scratched, scarred.
anything can happen. But you hope for the best. And you live to fight another day. But your spirit man cannot be harmed. This is the physical. True strength relies in the spirit and not in the flesh. Strongest people are those people who are unesthetically pleasing. Got to deal with all types of strangeness and weirdness from other people who think they're strange and weird. That takes some strength. You can always change the way you look at yourself. You can always change the way you view yourself. If you view yourself as someone that cannot stand up for themselves or that cannot handle situations or that cannot be the person they feel they need to be, what's the key word in that? You don't feel, you don't feel, you don't feel. Imagine if you felt like you could stand up for yourself. Try that on for size. Imagine if you feel that you could speak up or you could handle a situation. Not trying to be a tough guy. Not trying not trying to be a tough guy. Not trying to you know put in not not trying to be big or anything. Not trying to be uh hard, as they say, but just standing up for yourself and not being nobody's doormat and not letting people play with you goes a long way so far that people have to play with you from a distance and if that's what certain individuals choose to do by all means get you get your play on play play ball you can play all you want from a distance just don't let them play with you up close and personal that's when you have to let people know this this is the line that's drawn in the sand whether you see it or not whether you think it's invisible or not you cross this and it's going to be like that episode of spongebob when they got attacked by that sea bear when, when squidward got mauled by the sea bear you poke the sea bear you go get attacked by the sea bear Sooner or later, eventually, it, it, it could happen. It shouldn't happen because we're, we work on ourselves and we want the best for ourselves. And that's all we want. We don't want these games people out here playing. We don't want the problems from these lanes. We don't want the problems from these haters. We don't want the problems from narcissists, from just, just you know, just goofies. People just out here acting goofy. Wanting to, wanting, wanting to, wanting to try and play a person. And, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's really no big deal, but it's like your opinion on things and your view on things is very strong. And it hurts people, and it weighs down on people. When, like, your words are like daggers. You know, you, you real, you, your words are like daggers. You hold back a lot. You don't know the amount of power that you have due to, you know, your the disbelief and the doubt that you've had from, you know, influences from others around you trying to make you think that you didn't have any power or you were powerless. So now they have you going out in, in the world not using your strengths, your powers. They don't even want you to be aware of them because that would help you defend yourself around them. So it's like certain people had to deal with this stuff early on. And it's like you, 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 you're your comfort zone or what was supposed to be your military base was actually like was in attack mode against you you know your your village your tribe was not your village or your tribe you had to you had to dealt with backstabbers betrayal people coming up against you since you you know since you came out the womb so y'all you're already aware of all this stuff you might just have to reprogram yourself to deal with it in a way that's positive. Because when you don't know how to deal with stuff like this, the only way you're going to know how to deal with it is however you know how to deal with it at that particular point in time and space. All right. 
but it, it's like yeah, yeah, yo that like you have to have room you have to give your you 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 y o u because they're not you have to give yourself room to grow you don't have this you can't keep a job you don't you don't you don't you don't but 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 your whole entire is you had to fight all your life you just now finding some mental strength and some mental peace and and being able to hold a little piece of something together and now they still want to hit you with it you're not doing enough you da 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 break you down and then all, uh, how you going to break somebody down and then when, it's it's like somebody's been holding you down your whole life and then you finally just I got to something check it out you know you don't understand that there's a trauma bond there you don't understand that people are out to get you there backstab you betray you want to see you fail don't want you to do better than them i got a little something can you let me know if i'm if i'm doing okay it, 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 i mean you 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 don't you want to set it up like this so your approval and and your good sayings and and your good omen and you your your favor not God's favor. You you programmed me to 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 go for your favor. So your favor, right? Did, are you pleased by what I'm doing? No, that's still not good enough. Okay, back to my depression. Back to my cubby hole. Back to the darkness. Back to the the minimization of my experience. Back to not feeling good enough. Back to not being good enough. Back to not thinking that I can accomplish, achieve, or do anything. And that sounds rough, but it's the that sounds rough, but it's the truth for some of us. That's that's that that was some that was the village that we came out of. And then you go out into the the real world. They love the, they love that song. Okay. I remember I was working at this store putting clothes away, and they were playing that song. Ain't it fun? Da, 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 you're one of us. Da, da, da. They they love to gaslight you with music. You know, it's it's the perfect way to be subliminal, to get a message across without actually having to get it across. We could just f with this person. So all of you being played with out there on a covert level, strategically, yo, keep holding it down because they 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 see your greatness, they see your strength, and they they know they know that you're the best. They know that you're the greatest. They know that you're awesome. They know that you are better than them. Why are, why you think they're impersonating you? And it's the highest form of flattery. And I mean, one one once you do something, you cannot be upset over somebody else's interpretation of it if you if you do something and you do something somebody has a right to have their opinion on it have their perception on it have their view on it have their perspective on it that's allowed you do something you do it so somebody can see it and feel it they're allowed to have their opinion but even this right here this is still too much because you having your opinion is too much. You're just supposed to take it, shut up, and deal with it. And that's it. Oh, no, we're, we're treating you like this because this is the treatment that you're supposed to receive. We're treating you like this because this is the way it is. And it's not going to be any other way for you. Oh. Whoa. Hands up. No, don't shoot me with any negative energy. You know, force field up. Excuse me, for yo, force field up. You know, light, light, light warrior shield commenced, activated. Light, light, light warrior shield activate. And there's some people out there that's really going to use that too. They gonna be like, yo, he on it. Your imagination controls this stuff. That's why you know. The devil has to use trolls and stuff. Rewind. Your imagination controls this stuff. That's why the devil has to use trolls and stuff. That's a distraction. 
Troll is short for control. Minions, demons, out to try to control your mind. Oh well. It is what it is. And we're still gonna we're still going to pursue our goals. We're still going to pursue our dreams. We're still going to go after what we want in life. You shake people up, you stir things up, you turn things upside down on their head. You make the tail realize it could be the head. People don't like that energy because it throws things off balance. Up, it, it, it offsets things. Offset. It offsets things. Shout out to Offset. Rest in peace. Take off. Wonder why they both had off in their name. I wonder what they was turned off from. Somebody, yo, somebody donate for that alone right there. Just, just yo, just send a send a cash app and just put off in it. We right here. Wow, right? Ain't nobody put that one together yet. Take off. Just sent that one to me right now. See, I'm tapped tapped into. I'm to yo all the positive people. You're tapped into that. Take off. It's time to take off. That's what his like. You. That's what people don't understand. Like that's the. Those are the ones that, man. The young dolphs, the takeoffs, the like. Come on, man. The, the pop smokes. The PNB rocks. All the fly people just wanting to do what they was put here to do. Alright, but you don't even have to, you don't have to necessarily be on, and you will, and you will, you will get, you will obtain and get and achieve whatever you, whatever Whatever your level of success looks like to you. It may be a certain type of lifestyle. It may be a house out in the woods on 70 acres. And you still may want to put a, a iced out chain on your neck. Because that's just what we do. <laughs> it is what it is, man. Um, certain things that are ingrained in us. It's cultural. Um, look it up. Do the history. They got sculptures of people with diamonds in their teeth. Over hundreds of thousands of years ago. They got sculptures of people with jades and rubies. And precious stones and jewels in their teeth. Labeled Mayan artifacts. Who the hell is walking around here? Oh, excuse me. Who, who, who the heck is walking around here with jewels and diamonds in their mouth? Who's the originator and the starter of it? There are other people who saw it and want to do it. Who's the starter of that? Who been walking around? Who who wanted to? Who popped on the scene first with diamonds and the scar face with diamond teeth? I, I really want to know who was the first person with a diamond grill to pop up on the scene. Was yo? Was it Cash Money? Was it Louisiana? See, when you look at the artifacts, they have the hair, the ponytail, coming from the back to the front. Not too many people are out here doing that. And you can obviously see that it's dreadlocks. When you look at the... See, when you look at artifacts and we look at statues and things like that, the reason why they don't want certain people seeing them and they hide them is because certain people are going to see what is on the artifacts and they're going to recognize who they are. And that's why people are playing with you because they really, they know your royalty. They know you're a king, literally. You know, we say, what up, king? What up, queen? You're, you're, you're that, all right? Think about it. As the progenitors of creation and human existence, period. I don't want to lose ya. You're, you're the king. You're the queen.
feel right about yourself. Have the right idea about yourself. Doesn't matter if people are playing with you or not. Let them let them play their little corny their little corny lane games that they want to play. You know, it it it, it goes to show you, and pe and and people will do you some type of way, but when you really break down in a intelligent, logical way of what really conspired they really don't take too well to that oh we were just playing with you you weren't supposed to take it that way how else is a person supposed to take it when you're playing with them it's like someone like they don't realize that like people don't realize that trolling and play, when trolling and playing with people goes too far people kept trolling them people in Chicago, you know, bots, them, them, them bots got, you know, um, or whatever it was, that's not a good situation, all right? It's not a good situation when you have someone playing with you, and it's like, it's like somebody trying to play with a, a situation in Chicago, like, say somebody went to go take a picture, like Takashi 69 all right? I know they was going back and forth with each other, but let's not use Takashi 69. It's not a good example. Say somebody just want to go out there, just, you know what, I'm going to troll these Oblockian people. I'm going to troll this hood. I'm going to troll. That's not a good idea. You go out there, you play with people, bad things can happen. They don't realize that's what they're doing when they're playing with you. Like they're playing, and not necessarily saying that you're about to go, you know, drill nobody. But what I'm saying is they're playing with something that's near and dear to you. When people play with them people in Chicago, you're playing with their lost relatives. You're playing with their lost, uh, the lost people that they love, their deceased loved ones. You, sh you shouldn't, you, like, there's no respect. There, there's no respect for the, the dead today, really, because people want to go viral and get famous and stuff like that. And they see that <clears throat> there's, there's, um, there's people who, uh, there's demons out there that, you know, are bloodthirsty that want to be entertained by that. You have to be careful about what you're entertained by. Or what you're entertained by is enter is entertaining you. It's entering in you and it's tainting you. I guarantee you that word has something to do with some type of control. I guarantee you. I, we all know what enter means. But we could, you could pretty much just use common sense. I guarantee you the tain part. Detain. Like, come on. Anyway. Shout out to all the high... High, uh, intel highly intelligent minds out there. All the people that are tapped in, all the people that are tuned in. All right, um, shout out to the Galactic family. All right, shout out to Chosen Vessel. Shout out to the uh, shout out to Drew Nation. Shout out to everybody with their own mind and their own thought process that gets it. Realize that I just need to be an individual and do my own thing and work towards becoming successful. And the world is mine. So it is what it is, for real, for real, at the end of the day. People gonna keep playing with you until something bad happens. They gonna keep playing with you until something bad happens, until they get your attitude from you they don't necessarily like. They catch a video from you they necessarily don't like. And you're not even saying anything disrespectful. You're just calling out what it what it is. You 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 play stupid games. You win stupid prizes. But people people love to play with people. People love to play with people, and you're the you're the one that's wrong. Forget forget what you're going through. And see, here's the thing: when you play with a person, you're, you 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 really don't understand what comes along with that, and what and what people have to put to the side, so that bad things don't happen. Because, I mean, you never know what a person is going through. You trolling people, you playing with people. Somebody could have just lost a relative. Somebody could have just lost, just lost in life, period. When you play with a person, you're playing with whatever level of life they're in at that particular time. And you better hope and pray that this person has a positive mindset and they're not a bad one. You better hope and pray that they're as good as you think they are when you're messing with them and playing with them. Oh, he's a good one. We can try him. 
you better hope and pray that that's that, that person can find that goodness within their heart and their spirit that day <clears throat> that day when you choose to play with them because there are certain there are certain times i mean everybody everybody got another side to them Every, everybody's got a, a, a everybody's got another side to them some people have their nice and polite side and some people have their it's time to get right side But it, uh, it's, it's really no need for all that get right stuff. And it's, it's no need for all that tough guy stuff. You know, if, if you're trying to get home from somewhere and some random person is trying to harm you or your family, yo, go all out, man. That's when it's time to rip your shirt off and protection mode. That's when it's time to go in. Somebody's trying to harm you, your family, anything, relative, whatever, God forbid. But that's when it's time for all that tough guy stuff. Tr using Using that just to appear that way. That's just for that's just pure vanity, man. All right, God looks down upon that. He frowns upon that. All right, that's not real. You know, I know there are some people, and unfortunately, that is real for some people because that's all they got as far as <clears throat> their culture has been stripped away from them. You know, there are a lot of people who are not in the position in life that they should be culturally, environmentally. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, eco, ego, egotistically, not egotistically, uh, eco. You know, like the, it, it, they're not in the right, it's, it's, it's not even an ecosystem. It's not, there's nothing there. Just hellfire, just destruction. But, you, I mean, you have choices, but it's, it's so many negative choices in front of you. You have to have God on your side to be able to come out come out of some of these situations alive that some of some of the chosen ones are in. That's how you know it's only God. It, even if it is just even if it is only the presence and the power within us. But they play they played with the wrong one today. All right. Impersonating you? They could never. It's just a, a failed, sorry attempt. So maybe they had fun. Maybe they had a good time. You're still you. No matter how bad they want to be you. No matter how bad that psychologically shows through. That they want to be just like you. You may not like some of the forms of flattery your fans choose. You may not like some of the ways those who appreciate you choose and decide to show you it's like yo you appreciate someone you, you have an interesting way of showing it but you know there are some people who feel that you should just shut up and take what you're given and you open your mouth or feel some type of way about something they feel you're complaining look at all you're given look at all you have you're able to do this you're able to do that shut up take what you're given be quiet. Deal with this unfair uh, treatment. But it's like nobody, I mean, you can call it unfair treatment, you can call it whatever the hell you want. People don't like people playing with them, but then there are some people that want to come out to Woodworks and be like, yo, he doesn't like that. I'm going to do it anyway. So what, what about that person? No one cares about the person that doesn't want to be played with. That's the thing that people just don't care about. This person can be played with, tampered with, messed with, and just has to take it. You better hope and pray that this person is able to take and withstand whatever you're trying to put them through because it may not be a day that they have it all together. You know, we're going to pray that they do. We're going to pray for that person. You know, we pray that that person always has it together. And they will. I will and you will. But, 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 you, you cross that line. You step outside of that circle and you're going to get attacked by that fucking sea bear. It's going to maul your ass. Because you shouldn't, you, you don't play with the elements. You don't, you don't, you don't test nature. You don't test the laws of nature. Joel Santana said, he said, you back a cat into a, a alley. He said, you back a cat and do, into a dark corner, you get scratched. You back a cat into a corner, 
you get scratched. You back a cat into a corner and you get scratched. All right. Shout out to Joel Santana. I'll see you all in the next video. All right. This is this is the end of the era. They could they could think they doing whatever that they could think they doing whatever they doing, as long as it's actually not affecting you or bothering you firsthand. And if it ever is, let them know. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.